everybody it is me uh i'm still working on an intro i don't want to say like comment and subscribe but if you want to do that do that um so this is going to be a story time about when my house got minorly raided by the SWAT team and a little bit of preface to that story um i was living with my parents and where we lived it was townhouses so we had a house attached to a house space a ta house attached to a house space so it was a really like closed in neighborhood. Um, and it was just, it was a mess, oh my God. Um, and this was New Year's of 2016. So I was probably 14 or 15. Um, so I was between 14 and 15. And so what happened was when New Year's hit, my stepdad and stepsister had went out back to shoot a shotgun and when you shoot a shotgun it does not produce a light flash like um some other guns i guess a pistol might i don't know much about guns but i guess a pistol might um but a shotgun doesn't produce a light flash um but about 10 15 minutes later we get a knock on the door and it is two officers saying that there was a complaint of a gunshot you know fine whatever my stepdad said that you know, they shot a gun for New Year's, but he has permits for all of his guns. Um, you know, he's he's a hunter, he has guns. So, you know, they say that they're going to... I don't really remember what happened with the case. No one got arrested. I know they took a statement, but no one got arrested. And that was pretty much the end of that oh there was a court hearing for it and when he had gone to court my stepdad had gone to court the officers that had come to the house had said that they were around the corner like in the cul-de-sac area or up the street or around the corner somewhere and they had seen a light flash from a gun it was a shotgun there was no light flash um and also we have, they also said that they saw someone shooting a gun. We have six foot privacy fences around our yard. Um, so there's no way the officers could have seen someone shooting the gun. Um, so that was like kind of red flags there. Um, but regardless, he had, as far as we knew, my stepdad had won the court hearing. Um, we just knew that someone was going to come search the place and confiscate his guns, even though he had permits for them. Um, and we knew he couldn't do that anymore, like, he couldn't shoot his guns. Um, I'd say about three weeks, two to three weeks after that, is when she's really hit the fan, because we were, we were off school. So this was on a weekend, and there was intense banging on the door. Like, it sounded like someone was trying to break in. And honestly, me being the way I was back then, I was just hoping someone else would get the door because I was trying to sleep. But it was like consistent and it would not stop. And eventually someone got the door. It was my, bro my older brother. Uh, he had gotten the door, and, you know, he, I wasn't downstairs at this point, but I hear yelling, and, you know, this is when I come downstairs, um, and I'm woken up by the banging, I hear yelling, and I'm coming downstairs with an attitude, um, and at this point, everyone in the house is woken up, and also preface, me and my sister shared a room at this time, that's also going to come into the story, um, so I get woken up, um, my sister and I share a room, but she slept, slept downstairs on the couch at this, like, this day because I guess she was fell asleep watching TV or something. Um, my brother answered the door. When I'm coming, when I get to the top of the steps, I see him getting pulled out of the house. And I see the head of a gun. And I'm just like, I'm going to flip out on whoever just woke me up. And... I honestly get I come downstairs and I'm just like what is going on and that is that is what I said like I'm, I'm so stupid 
Um, so I say what is going on, and I'm getting yelled at to, like, exit the house and, you know, do what I'm told. And I have guns pointed at me. Like, this is a full-on SWAT team, and they're yelling at me, and they're telling me to listen, and they're like, and my mom, like, here's what's going on. She lifts up her window at the, from her bedroom, and she sticks her head out because, you know, she doesn't have pants on because she just woke up. So she sticks her head out the window. She's like, what is going on? You know, why are you guys doing this? And they, you know, one of the officers aims a gun up there and is like, ma'am, you need to come downstairs and come outside. And, you know, y'all need to exit the house. And, you know, they're giving us these orders. And, hi, kitty. They're giving us these orders. And we just woke up, so we're not in the right mindset to actually process what is going on. So, you know, I get outside, Aaron gets outside, or my brother gets outside, my sister gets outside, everyone gets outside, okay? They go in, they pull out our dining room chairs and have all of us sit in the dining room while they go through the house and check everything through the house. Um... And, of course, they didn't find anything. I don't know what they were looking for. Um, but there's this one officer that's standing in the dining room. And my little sister is hysterical. Okay? Like, she's freaking out. She's crying. She's asking, why are you guys doing this? You know, we don't have anything. Like, we're not a threat. Why are you guys pointing the guns at us? Like, what is going on? She's freaking out. She's crying. And I'm trying to, like, console her and tell her, like, okay, they need to do this, you know, I don't necessarily know why they have the guns. And this officer tells me to shut up. I don't know what I'm talking about. And unless I've gone to police academy, I can't really tell her what to do or how to... I can't really console her. And I stare at him. And I'm like, look, are you really going to tell me what to t say to my little sister when she's freaking out and she's, you know, crying because you guys barged in here? And my mom looks at me and she's like, Liz... And I'm just like, no, no, Liz, like, seriously, she's freaking out. And you're going to sit here and, and he's, he's yelling at me. And he's trying to cut me on, off and he's like, ma'am, this is your warning, ma'am. You need to stop talking, ma'am. And I'm just like, look, stop. And my mom's like, Liz, that's enough. And I'm just like, all right, fine. And like, obviously my brother, he's, He's in the Marines. He's a very, like, obedient person. So he was doing what he was told. His mind works much quicker than mine. I was always the one who's like, all right, you want to fight? You might kick my butt, but I'll fight. Um, so, and keep in mind, this, like, all of the guns, like, this guy's gun was in his hostel. I think that's what it's called. It was put away. Like, we weren't a threat. Um... So they searched the house, they didn't find anything, the gun safe was put away, and all the guns in it were put away. Pr also prior to, he had his guns confiscated. So, you know, the guns he had were okayed by the court to be had. They weren't, there wasn't anything for them to take. Um, and they didn't destroy the house, they didn't cut anything open, it was a very mild raid, from what I've heard stories of. But, you know, it was also very, like, my house got raided by the SWAT team. Um, so, I'm trying to think. They end up leaving. And at this point, everyone's, like, mad. Because we got woken up. They kind of barged in here. Yeah, it's the job. I get it. I respect law enforcement. But, like, seriously? Seriously. Um. And. My mom turns to me. Like, after everything calms down. She turns to me and she's like, you know. I was really worried you were going to get shot. And I was like, why? And she, she was like. She said something along the lines of just, I think she said something along the lines of because of my mouth, but I don't know. I know she was worried like all of us were going to get shot, but because I was the one like not, I was obeying, but.
but I wasn't just gonna let them talk to me however they wanted. And like, that's a huge problem I have, honestly. Um, but they didn't find anything. Nothing was ever heard of afterwards. And I don't really know what was supposed to come of that. Like, what was the point of that? I don't, I don't know. But yeah, that was the time my house got uh, mildly raided by the SWAT team. Like, comment, subscribe. I promise to get more energetic and uh, I don't know. Do you guys want me to be peppy and be like, yeah, this is the time my house got raided by a SWAT team. If you want to hear more, like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys want me to be more like that, comment below. Give me uh, criticism. I am a new YouTuber, so... Let me know what you want to see. Let me know what you want to hear. I do have a lot of weird things that have happened to me in my life. Um, so let me know. Let me know what I could do to be better. Let me know what you guys want to know and see and do. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching.